We're here in Athens, Greece. We're talking with Yanis Karakasis. We are talking about all things Greek wine, trying to help our readers and our audience at SantorinDave.com to uh, really go beyond and to make more of their trip and their understanding of their Greek journey. Yanis, we were, uh, you're an expert in Santorini, Santorini wineries and Santorini wines. I'm curious, maybe you could just sort of throw out five or six different wineries in Santorini. I know you love them all, but maybe you could just touch on sort of some differences between them mm-hmm. and throw out five or six that you would encourage people to test. Okay, let's see what I can do. Um, Go for it. Okay, let's see. Um, different styles. Okay, you have the style of uh, a mineral, you know, very, very crystal clear and precise style, like the, the style of uh, Yeah and Argyros. You have a style which is, you know, fruitier and rounder which comes from Vasaltis. Okay, so let's let's clarify that these are names of wineries. wineries. So be really, yeah, uh, I think yeah. for our readers who are not familiar with these names, these varieties, when you're identifying a winery, maybe be specific about which one, with the names of the okay, wineries. Okay, okay, so um, let's do that again. We have the, the mineral and very crystal clear style of the wineries of Arquiros and Yea Winery. You have a, you know, a, a little bit, you know, more uh, rounder, and um, uh, maybe a little bit fruitier style of uh, Vasaltis. You have Karamolegos winery which sits in between. Uh, You have Hadzidakis winery which is a more minimalistic approach, a little bit more natural, indigenous yeast. On the same approach you have the style of of Akra Chrysos. Uh, I, I want to add also because it is important the style of uh, Santo Winery, which is the big cooperative of Santorini, they have a, a, a diversity of styles, usually in a mineral style. Mm-hmm. Um, and to be clear, in a visit to Santorini, there are more than 20 wineries. Some of them, there are 20 currently. Some yeah. of them are big and beautiful and they're on the edge of the caldera and the view is stunning. Yes, like and they have a, like Venezanos or Santo. And they have this gorgeous view and they have food and a restaurant and lots of people. And then at the same time, you've got some that are very small, very small production. To visit there is to see the vineyards around there. Give me a sense of some of the others that you yeah, might recommend. For example, if you go to Carnava Caramolegos, there's no sign. You need to call the guys and find your way there. So, or Argyros, uh, no, no, Argyros Art Space is also there. Are some uh, one is under the radar. Mm-hmm. Now, I just want to point out that every one of these that you've mentioned are available on our site. We've got write-ups about them. We uh, direct so people toward wine tours and help people to sort of uh, ease the access and to understand where they are on the island and what to expect. Keep going. What else comes to mind? Um, oh, of course, I, I, I forgot. I forgot Sigalas. Okay, that uh, <laughs> I didn't do that on purpose. Sigalas is a leading light uh, in, in Santorini. He started the discussion about premiumization of, uh, of, uh, of the island. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just uh, want to say that so many, so many of the wineries that you've mentioned are wineries that we have videos from individually. Right. Okay. Some of them we're talking with the winemakers, some of them we're talking with the owners, but we've got lots of great media from many of the wineries that you just talked about that you'll find uh, on the pages of our site as well as talk, in our social media. We talked also about Venezanos, one of the most historic wineries uh, one of the six original wineries in Santorini that uh, has uh, returned now after some decades that was not active. So, so many things to do, so many wineries to explore. Great. We are hoping to give sort of uh, the encouragement uh, to our readers and our audience to, to visit. To, yeah, when they're in Santorini yeah. doing wine tours, tasting Santorini it wines. Is a must. It's such a wonderful part of a great Santorini experience. Absolutely. Great. It's wonderful to talk with you, Giannis. Giannis's new book, The Wines of Santorini, is just out, and it's a guide to Santorini wines and wineries. Oh. Whoops. Wines and wineries. And uh, thank you so much for your time, Giannis. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to see more super useful travel videos about Greece and beyond from SantoriniDave.com.